Hi, this is Andrew with PandaComputers.com, and welcome to our video series on Windows XP. We're talking about the 12 basic commands that every computer user should know, and we're talking about number video 12, which is print commands. Now, everybody knows that you can print from multiple things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up the Internet Explorer here, and we're going to use it as an example, okay? And most of the time, you can just go up to the corner to File here and click Print, okay? So if it's a Word document, or you're on the internet or something like that, um, you can just go ahead and hit print and it'll it'll make things happen, okay? Now, let me uh, show you up here really quickly. If I hit file um, right here, I can go down and hit print. Now, there's a couple of things that I can do here under print. I can either hit print preview, which will preview what the page will look like. See, it'll say, okay, this is what your basic page is going to look like here. You know what? It's kind of cut off on the edge over here because this web page is not really designed to print, okay? So I can say shrink to fit. I can say save it at 70%. See if I make it a little smaller. Now it stopped cutting off most of the page here. And you can adjust that sometimes. It depends upon your printer, really. So I can preview one page there, and then I can go and hit print here, or I can go back and hit print there. So that's one way to print. Another way to print is, let's go ahead and do a search here for puppies again. We like the, the puppy thing. So we're going to go ahead and hit puppies. We're going to uh, find an article about puppies here. Okay, let's Wikipedia. Here's a good one here for Wikipedia. And we can print, and where we can go in, we can look. And say we want to print out this information here, we would just go up to File. We would say Print. And our printer comes up. It's going to ask us different questions. You know, one copy, all of them. Do you want just page one? You know, maybe we don't want page one. Maybe we want page only five and six. Then you can adjust that in there by clicking on Pages, five and six. Okay, and we hit print, and it prints for us. Now, I'm not going to go into a huge lot of detail about the other part of print, but what I wanted to show you was I can print several different ways. Okay, so I can print that. Well, what happens if there's no print on here, or maybe I don't want to print all of that. Okay, maybe I'd want just these two paragraphs right here. Okay, this paragraph here and this paragraph here. How do I print just part of the page? Well, it's very simply. I, I hold down my left mouse button, and I highlight these two paragraphs, okay? And what I've done is I've told the computer I specifically want to talk about these two paragraphs. I go up to, oops, see I just messed it up. Doggone it, Andrew. Okay. So go back up here, highlight these two paragraphs again, file, and I'm going to hit print one more time. But this time, I'm going to, instead of choosing page one or page two or all of it, I'm going to say selection. If I hit print selection, then what happens is I can go ahead and hit print here, and it'll print just these two paragraphs. It's not going to print this. It's not going to print the pictures. It's not going to print any of the other kind of stuff. It's just going to print this, okay, just these two paragraphs. So I can do what's called a selected print. Once again, like our keyboard commands we had in our save, there's another thing I can do is say I can't get to this top bar here, or there's no print down here. I can easily, easily hit the Control key, hold it down, and hit P for print. And see what happens? My print command comes up. Now, sometimes I've run onto certain documents or pages or even programs where there was no print command. There was no print up here, or print really wasn't an option. But if it's text, I can print from it, okay, usually. So, Control, P, see, I didn't touch anything, and boom, up comes print. I can go ahead and make the selection part or all and go ahead and hit print there. Now, another thing you can do is sometimes if, you do, if there is no print here and it won't print someplace else, you may have to use the copy command, take this, copy it to Notepad or WordPad or Word, and then print it from there. Okay. So printing is something that's fairly easy. I have people that complain about, well, it won't fit on the page or it cuts it off. You know, we go up here to File. We hit Print Preview. I want to see what it looks like. Now, on this particular ping here, see, it doesn't cut it off too bad. The picture's here. Cuts off this little bit of the bottom with all the pictures here. But I can also go up here and I can say, lay it out on the screen, shrink to fit, or I can say shrink it a little bit. So I'm going to go say 80% of the regular size. Makes it a little bit smaller to make sure I get all my text on here. I can preview what it looks like, and then I can go ahead and say print. So that's another option is we can print smaller. We can print a selection here. I can go up here to file, and I can say print just page one or two, if there's six or seven pages and I only want page one or two, or I can select it like I did here and say print just the selection. There's a lot of different options when it comes to print. Print is not just as easy as hitting the print button. I hope you learn the different ways to print. I hope it helps you 
be more efficient in your computer using, using all the different print commands, especially the keyboard ones, will help, help you have your computer time more fun, more efficient, and you'll just get a lot more out of the internet and any other programs that you use. This is Andrew with Panda Computers. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.